What's up guys, Jay here and welcome back to another Deep Rock Galactic video. Today we have the next installment of our class tips series. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos because honestly I'm learning a lot about the other classes with this research myself. I know I'm not giving too many insane 500 level IQ strats here, but I want these tips to be easy for relatively new players to pick up. In today's video, we're going to be going over some tips for playing everyone's favorite speedster and the dwarf version of Spider-Man, the Scout. If you want to be the best flying spelunker you can, then you've come to the right place. So if you guys are ready, today I'll be sharing six useful tips to help you play the Scout class much better than ever before. By the way, if you like this video and want to see more, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and it means a lot to me. Afraid of the dark? No need. You got me! As a scout, your primary role is that of an information gatherer and mobility expert. Your main contributions to the team are a few different specialties. Your ability to gather resources at high speeds and efficiently is nearly unmatched. Also, your ability to eliminate high value threats are highly valued, especially at higher levels of play. And of course, the ability to light up the cave and provide useful information to the team is beyond valuable. Understand that you are the team's eyes in the sky and secret weapon at the same time. Despite what people may say about the scout, rest assured that your role is crucial to the team's success. Number one, utilize your mobility wisely. The scout's greatest asset is his incredible mobility. Utilize your grappling hook to quickly traverse the caves, retie platforms, or escape from potential danger. The zip line can be insanely fun to use, but should also be used effectively. Yes, you can just use it to get from one point to another, but you can also use it in combat for various reasons. The scout has an interesting position of being able to kite enemy bugs around if need be. This can be extremely useful, for example, in an elimination mission for distracting the dreadnought away from your allies. You can use the grapple to run last around the dreadnought to give your teammates a clear shot at its weak point. You could also apply this logic to other situations like corralling swarms of enemies into one place. Master the art of zipping through the tunnels, making you the fastest dwarf around. Remember, staying one step ahead can mean the difference between life and death. Use your mobility to flank enemies, gain advantageous positions, or even act as the medic and revive teammates in perilous situations. While your grappling hook may say it's a traversal tool, it has much more combat usefulness than your normal weapons, just not in the way that you would think. Number 2. Your flares are your best friend. One thing that is easy to forget about, despite how useful it is, is the value of being able to see what you are doing. The caves in Deep Rock are dark, and while the thrown flares are fine, they only do so much. As the scout, your flare gun is far superior and in turn can give your teammates the much needed information they need to stay alive. Always keep an eye on your flare supply. As a scout, you're responsible for illuminating dark areas and providing vision for your team. Be sure to shoot flares strategically to light up the battlefield and keep your teammates safe. Too many times I see scouts just forget to use their flares, or even worse, they overuse it and then run out in a few seconds. Communication is key, so let your teammates know if a specific area needs extra lighting. Additionally, consider upgrading your flares to increase their duration and radius, allowing for better coverage in dark and treacherous areas. If you have the flares upgraded in certain ways, you only need one or two at most in order to light up a medium-sized room. Also, keep in mind the type of mission you are on when using your flares. If you are on a mission where you are constantly moving through the caves, such as a mining expedition, then you should be more mindful of how often you use your flares and be a little bit more conservative with them. On missions like on-site refining or point extractions, then you could be a little bit more liberal with your placement in order to light up the whole area, since you will be in the same place for a long period of time. Simply put, do not underestimate the value of your flares for giving your teammates necessary information. Number 3. Eliminate High Value Targets Deep Rock Galactic is full of unique creatures that are a pain in the Ooh. to take out. As the scout, you are the primary one responsible for taking out these special high value targets. Some creatures may be more vulnerable to certain weapon attacks or attack patterns. Understanding your enemy will help you choose the right tools for the job and keep your team safe. Having an immense amount of mobility as well as weapons that boast high precision damage puts you in a very good position for flanking enemies and taking advantage of their weak points. On top of this, tools like your cryo grenades and pheromone canisters can make even the most dangerous threats less intrusive. When dealing with a swarm or even just a normal group of enemies, make it a point to examine the enemy group as best you can and determine the most dangerous threats. Things like Praetorians, Stingtails, Spitters, Menaces are all things that you want to be on the lookout for. Pay attention to your team's callouts if they mark or mention anything that needs to be taken out quickly. While of course you should try to help clear the main bulk of enemies as well, taking out these elite threats or annoying enemies should take precedent to ensure the team's overall safety. After all, there's nothing worse than having a random stingtail yank you out of the group. 
Number four, gather those difficult resources. In addition to your combat skills, scouts are adept at gathering valuable resources. Your ability to gather nitra, minerals, and secondary objectives in those extremely hard to reach places is crucial for the team's success. Keep an eye out for shiny minerals that are located in the higher up locations where your team has a difficult time reaching. Resources on the ground can easily be gathered by your teammates, so you can leave those lowly ground resources to the peasants. If on a mission taking place in a singular large size area, like an on-site or point extraction, focus primarily on collecting both the secondary objective resources as well as any resources you can find while assisting in the primary objective as well. On a mission where you are constantly moving, don't be afraid to go ahead of your team a reasonable amount to not only gather resources, but also gather information on the cave system ahead of you. Remember, a well-stocked, well-informed team is a successful team. As a scout, use your mobility to quickly reach distant resources and inform your team about their locations, ensuring efficient collection and maximizing your team's mining potential. As a quick side tip, remember that the engineer is also your best friend for gathering those annoying resources, so try to be nice to him so that way he will help you out. Number 5. Use your range to your advantage Scouts excel more than any other class at taking down enemies from a distance. The scouts' weapons are more contemporary and easy to get a handle of, for the most part, since they are not as over-the-top or grandiose as some of the other classes. His weapons all have exceptionally good accuracy or just single-target capabilities. As such, you should practice your aim and make every shot count. The best example of this is the M1000 Classic, as it boasts very good accuracy, range, and strong damage. Understanding your arsenal and knowing what your weapons excel at is crucial for a good scout. The gunner and driller have very good area of effect and wide enemy control with their weapons, and the scout is kind of the opposite. Taking down threats quickly and efficiently not only protects you, but also supports your team's success. Experiment with different weapons to find out what works best in certain situations and keep distance on the enemy to make sure you're staying the most effective. Unless you're using the boomstick, in which case you gotta just hug the bugs. Number 6. Be the support you are meant to be. While scouts may be known for their solo skills, teamwork is essential in Deep Rock Galactic, and the scout is no exception. The scout does have many ways that he can contribute to the team's success as we have covered so far. However, his team compatibility isn't quite as obvious as it is with the other classes. Coordinate with your team, communicate your findings, and support each other in danger situations. I've already mentioned many times on the channel the power of the scout and engineer combo, utilizing the platforms and grappling hooks to grab those difficult resources. However, that is just one example of the scout's utility he provides. Working with the driller, he can combine crowd control techniques to control the flow of bugs, and he can team up with the gunner who can mow down the trash bugs so you can fully focus on eliminating high-value enemies. Remember that a united team is a formidable force against the perils of the underground. Share your scouting information with the team, call out threats, and provide cover fire when needed, and especially don't forget to gather those resources. Embrace the synergies between your class and the other classes in the team to achieve maximum effectiveness and success. Well, there you have six tips for improving your scout play in Deep Rock Galactic. Hopefully you learned something that you did not before because I know that I personally did. I know everyone likes to diss the scout and it's kind of a meme in the community to do so. However, it's hard to ignore the utility and position the scout has on the team. By embracing your role, using your mobility, making sure to utilize your tools and weapons efficiently, and supporting your teammates when needed, you'll become an invaluable asset to your team. The scout has a very special place in the DRG roster, so it might take some time to get everything down right, but just keep practicing and experiment with different setups until you are a master of the grappling hook and the caves itself. So what did you guys think? Did you learn anything you didn't before? If you don't play the scout normally, do you think you might pick him up now? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, hope you guys found this video helpful. Please be sure to give it a like because it tells me what types of videos you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time for another video.